Hey guys, Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros, and today we are going to be unboxing the Epoch Lithium Golf Cart Batteries. We are also going to be range and load testing them. Stick around, I'll tell you all about the Epoch products, and also I'll tell you if they passed our test or not. Welcome to the Epox unboxing video. Let's go ahead and jump right into it and quickly discuss how this product ships. The batteries will ship in thick cardboard boxes, which are padded inside, and they are also banded. And then you'll have two boxes of accessories. Once you open up your battery boxes, you'll find uh, this thick styrofoam padding inside. The battery is nicely protected and wrapped in plastic. You'll also find your main cables, communication cable inside. Each of the battery boxes weighs about 35 pounds, so they're definitely uh, a little bit easier to maintain and handle than some of the other single unit drop-ins. All right, now we have all four of our battery boxes open and on the table. So now we can go ahead and open up our accessory boxes. Now that we have everything opened up and on the table, here's a good look at your batteries and installation kit and I will go over everything in detail here in a second but let's go ahead and talk about the batteries first this is the Epoch Lifebo 4 golf cart battery it is 51.2 volts and 30 amp hours it weighs 33 pounds and is the same exact size as your lead acid batteries the Epoch battery has battery terminals just like your lead acid batteries. These are communication ports. We'll talk about those here in a second. And then it has an on off button. You will install these batteries in parallel to give you the runtime that you're looking for. Each time you add a battery to your battery bank, you're adding 30 amp hours. So one battery would not be enough to power a stock cart based on the discharge rates. So you'd wanna start with the two battery setup and it would have a 400 amp peak discharge for three seconds, 200 amps for 10 seconds, and the continuous discharge rate of 120 amps, which would be perfect for a stock golf cart getting somewhere between 18 to 25 miles per charge. Three batteries in parallel get a 600 amp peak discharge for three seconds, 300 amps for 10 seconds, and the continuous discharge rate of 180 amps. This setup would be good for an upgraded motor and controller, but it would be great for a stock cart, and you'd probably see somewhere in the 30 to 35 mile range. This is the 120 amp hour battery bank. It has four batteries. The peak discharge is 800 amps for three seconds, 400 amps for 10 seconds, and the continuous discharge rate is 240 amps. So four would be perfect for an upgraded golf cart, um, maybe the Navita system, or if you have a high speed motor, Four would definitely push it, and I think you'd probably be in the range of 40 plus miles per charge. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna do a range test. Um, I'm definitely gonna test all four in an upgraded system. Epoch's onboard battery charger is rated at 22 amps, so it's definitely a high output, fast charging uh, charger. This is the power distribution block, and we're gonna be hooking all the batteries up to the terminals here, and then we'll put our output side that goes to the cart here. We will also hook up our 12 volt reducer to the distribution block, as well as the onboard charger. Epoch includes the 48 to 12 volt reducer, so there's only gonna be uh, the 48 volts at the terminal, so for your lights and accessories, you'll need to reduce that voltage down to 12 volts. This is a 30 amp voltage reducer. It does have inline fuses and a wiring harness that makes it easy to connect to your cart. 
This is the LCD monitor and mounting bracket. It is a very nice LCD monitor and I'll show it to you here in a second when I hook everything up. All right, each of these batteries has two communication ports on the top and we're gonna be plugging the communication wiring harnesses into each battery and connecting them all. This is gonna utilize CAN bus to allow all the batteries to talk to each other and the state of charge meter. It will monitor the battery's health and also assist in keeping the cells balanced. This is the 120 ohm resistor and I'll show you how to install that here in a second. You can add up to 10 Epoch batteries in parallel. It increases the price, but it also increases the discharge rate and the amp hour rating. One battery would be the least expensive option, but unfortunately the discharge rate of one battery is not enough to push even a stock cart. So two batteries in parallel would be great for a stock golf cart and would also be the least expensive option. I'll briefly describe how we have everything hooked up. Here's our LCD wiring harness, communication harness, which runs down to our LCD meter. And we took our positive and negative and put them to the, bat the post on this battery. And we also ran our negative to the negative side of the bus bar, positive to the positive side of the bus bar. And we did the same thing on the second battery, ran it to the other negative post. And here's our positive side and we ran it down to the positive post here. So now we have both our positives and negatives coming in. We have our onboard charger connected directly to the distribution block. The brown is our positive, the blue is our negative. And the last item we have hooked up is our 48 volt to 12 volt reducer. So 48 volts is coming in and 12 volts is coming out via the red and black. And the orange, we're gonna run up to our key switch and this will activate our 12 volt supply when the cart is on. We have our two batteries linked via the communication cable and here is our resistor at the end. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added the third battery and everything else is the same um, as far as the charger connection, the connection from our uh, 12 volt reducer all run to the bus bar. We have our LCD meter run to the same battery, positive, negative uh, with the terminals and then our communication port here. And then we have number one connected to number two and we have number two connected to number three. We have our resistor here on the end of number three. And you can see all three of the battery positive and negative cables run to the um, either the positive post and the negative post. So now we've added the fourth battery and we have a 120 amp hour lithium golf cart set up with four in parallel. The total weight is 132 pounds. Our charger and 12 volt reducer are hooked up to our distribution block. And of course the first battery has the uh, positive and negative from our LCD screen wiring harness and the communication cable is plugged in here. We have a communication cable from battery one to two, two to three, three to four, and our resistors on the end. And each of our battery cables run to the corresponding uh, post on the distribution block. So you have all your positives running to the positive side and all of your negatives running to the negative side. Now that we've gone over the batteries and installation kit, we are going to install the Epoch 120 amp hour uh, lithium setup into my Restore 2008 Club Car DS that has the 600 amp Navitas AC controller with the five kilowatt motor. We are gonna be performing three real world tests on the Epoch batteries. The first is the range test. So we're gonna see how far we can go from 100% state of charge to 0%. We will set our controller settings middle of the road with a top speed of 25 miles an hour and a max discharge rate of 300 amps. And we will drive a consistent route until the battery gets down to 0%. The second and third test are our load test 
and we're gonna make sure that we cannot exceed the battery's discharge rates. So for the second test, we are going to be putting 820 pounds on the cart and maxing our controller settings and driving at max speed for a quarter of a mile to make sure we do not exceed the continuous discharge limit. And for our third and final test, we will put the 820 pounds of weight back on the cart. And from a stop, we will accelerate up an incline to make sure we do not exceed the peak discharge rate. All right, we just finished range and load testing our Epoch batteries. And I wanna say that uh, they exceeded my expectations on the range test and the load test have no problems whatsoever. So we're actually gonna be doing another round of comparison videos, the range and load test on four different uh, lithium brands. Hit that like and subscribe button and we'll have that video out shortly. We'll go into details about the test and uh, we'll dig into the results as well. So overall, we were really impressed with the Epoch batteries. So we are now an authorized dealer. And if you'd like to purchase a set of these batteries, we'd love to talk to you. So please call us weekdays, nine to five Eastern at Palmetto Battery Pros. You can also shop online at palmettobatterypros.com. We have some really good content coming out in the near future. So please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, we really appreciate you watching. Thanks y'all.